Hi friends, welcome to Deliciously Jabas. This video will feature an amazingly unique traditional chicken recipe with very few ingredients that is lip smackingly delicious. In a hot pan, take 5 tablespoons of sesame oil or gingerly oil. Add a tablespoon of somf and saute for 10 seconds on a high flame. Then add quarter kg or 250 grams of shallots, otherwise known as sambar onions, and saute on a high flame for 5 minutes or until they turn pink and translucent. Then add a tablespoon of pounded garlic and a tablespoon of pounded ginger. and saute on a high flame for 2 to 3 minutes or until the raw flavor from the ginger and garlic fades. You know, pounding the ginger and garlic adds a distinct flavor to this dish. Now add 15 to 20 broken red chilies that are de-seeded like this. This dish won't be too spicy as we are de-seeding the chilies. You can try this recipe in your kitchen and share your experiences in the comment section below. You know, this dish is a culinary gem from the Tamil cuisine. Saute them on a high flame for a minute. Using the right quantity of onion for this dish is very important. If you're using half a kg of chicken, then you should use quarter kg of onions. And if you're using one kg of chicken, then you should use half a kg of onions. Now add half a kilo of chicken. Clean this chicken thoroughly before adding it to the dish. Keep stirring the chicken on a high flame until the chicken turns pale in color. You know, talking about the onions, you should use only shallots or sambar onion for this dish. This adds a distinct flavor for the dish. Add the required salt for the dish and give this a good mix until the salt is incorporated into the chicken. Generally, Thai portion of the chicken is the preferred meat for this dish. You can use any portion of the meat that you prefer. Now add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and again give this a good mix. You know, you can prepare this dish with very few ingredients. It requires no chili powder, no coriander powder or no garam masala. Cover the chicken with a lid and cook on a low flame for 15 to 20 minutes or until the liquid from the chicken evaporates. The chicken will release its own liquid. You can see, this liquid is more than sufficient to cook the chicken. Continue to stir the chicken in small intervals as we do not want the chicken to burn at the bottom. Add few sprigs of curry leaves which again adds more flavor to the dish. Mix this well into the chicken. You know, the sesame oil, the sambar onions and the curry leaves will make this dish unique and authentic. Again, cover and cook until the liquid evaporates from the chicken. If your chicken doesn't release any liquid, then add half a cup of water to cook the chicken. After 15 minutes or 20 minutes, roast this chicken on a high flame until the liquid evaporates from the dish. Now that the liquid has dried up from the chicken, again add few sprigs of curry leaves and continue to roast the chicken on a high flame for another 2 minutes. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. You can see the liquid has completely evaporated from the chicken and it is beautifully roasted. This is the perfect consistency that we want. And it's incredibly simple to make. Serve this chicken chintamani hot as a side dish to rice or roti as well as as a starter. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon 
so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll meet you with another delicious recipe next week. Until then, it's Jabba signing off. Bye-bye.